Hello, Commanders! In this episode of Talking War Robots, we are reviewing the changes of 8.4 and taking a very quick peek into 8.5. How do the rating limits affect the leagues? Will Mars be the new meta? What's that? No, I mean that. Let's find out. The September update introduced league drop limits. Once you reach a certain league, you can only go back to a certain threshold. The threshold goes up together with your advance in the leagues. After lots of heated debates, we decided to set the limit at two leagues below your current league. This way, the core mechanism of our matchmaking system still works. If you start losing too many battles, you get weaker opponents. But those weaker opponents will now never include newer players. So the main goal of this feature is to deny career tankers any easy pickings from below expert. This will make the whole going back affair much less inviting. And even above expert, our policy on intentional league dropping remains the same. Leaving battles early and getting reported for that leads to an account suspension, and in some cases to an indefinite ban. Just as before. There are some accounts in lower leagues that shouldn't be there. We are taking a headcount, and as soon as the list is ready, those accounts will be brought back to higher leagues, according to the new threshold system. This will take us some time, as we really, really want to avoid any false positives here. One more thing about leagues. If you are absent from the game for, say, several months, your account will now slowly slide towards its lower league limit. This will help you get back on track when you decide to dust off your bots again. We already pulled off at two bots per one update operation back in 7.7. .7. This time we managed to do that again. Here's one, and here's two. That small turret on Mars only looks simple. In fact, it required as much coding and tinkering as the bot itself. What we've achieved is a unique gameplay that brings corner shooting to the next level. Naturally, we wanted to highlight that type of gameplay for Mars. So a good chunk of its power pool went into the turret. Position your turret poorly, and Mars will be nothing special. Position it well, and Mars will shine. The only question is, which of the two situations will be more common? It's 50-50 for now, so as far as we can tell, the bot looks perfectly balanced. Let's see which way it develops when turret tricks become more common. In any case, we really liked the experiment. The test server has served its purpose. Again, we've carefully read through your feedback and double-checked our data. So, no executioner module in this update. We still kinda like the idea of dramatic one-shot hits, though. So we'll look for an agreeable way to revive the module in future updates. You've probably checked out the new Shenzhen map already. We hope you liked it. Now, if you had the chance to look around without getting your robot destroyed, you already know which map will be next. We continue bringing everything in the game up to remastered standards. Maps are the most time-consuming part of the process, but the end result is always worth it. We'll bring more news soon. Look at this bulky frame. What do you think? What's the specialty of this bot? I'd say it looks like something that can take a lot of damage and still keep walking. We plan on calling it Angler. I'll let you guess about its ability until it appears on the test server. Oh, and I should probably warn you about something. October updates are somewhat weird. I've heard that this thing is trying to find its way into the game build this time. Let's wait and see what it all means. All right, that's all for now. If you want more info, just wait for our next community update on Reddit. We post them every week under the community update tag. We'll leave a link under this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day!